Nick the Tech Guru here. I am giving you a Sling Player demo for the Android. I am actually hooked up to my Sling Player Solo. I am connecting over Verizon 4G LTE, which I just did a speed test and I'm pulling down about um, 20 megs down. So, just basically showing you guys a quality test. Um, you're not going to be able to pick up a whole lot quality wise. I mean, you can kind of see on here. Um, the quality that you get. I'm going to just go to a local channel, show you how quick it switches between channels. I'm pretty satisfied with the quality um, through the phone. Honestly, it looks bad on camera, but it definitely looks way better than when I'm on my computer and, you know, through the Windows PC version, which you can see in another video. But the the, the iPad camera I'm using right now doesn't give this thing justice at all. It's definitely, I would almost say HD um, quality. It's just because the resolution's crammed onto a small screen, so it definitely looks a lot better. Um, I'll go ahead and change the channel back here to Sports Center. Actually, I'm gonna go to another channel here, 17, another local channel. I'll show you how quick it switches between channels. Um, yeah, it's just, I can't emphasize it enough. The quality looks great. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's HD. It's just under HD. I would say probably, uh, yeah, between DVD and HD quality. It's just the iPad camera just doesn't do it justice. So I, I give the quality um, a very high rating just because the way it looks compared to uh, other devices. I'm going to go ahead here and pause it. Pause the stream just so I can show you some of the quick features. Um, you can use the back button on your phone and it will, uh, um, you know, go back a screen. I'm going to go ahead and, I guess that didn't pause it for whatever reason. But you can, um, this button here, you can do page up and down, uh, which is basically the channel. Uh, basically, quick remote buttons here, you know, you can change the channel there if you know the screen and then you have, uh, all the different quick options there so I'm just gonna go ahead and make one last channel change to show you, um, you know, another channel sports center specifically um, yeah I'm per pretty satisfied with the quality through the Android phone I it's way better than say comparing it to MLB.tv um, game streaming it's way better quality it's just, like I've said a million times in this video, the iPad camera d does not give this thing justice at all. So, definitely recommend it. I do not like how String Sling Player makes you pay $30 for each app that you have. Um, that's the only thing downside. So, stay tuned for other Sling Player applications. Um, actually, I'm going to do one last... Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch this thing and show you how it streams over Wi-Fi. That was over 4G. Um, I'm actually going to drag this video out a little longer than I thought of just because I want to show you guys the quality differences between 4G, um, Wi-Fi, which I'm getting 6, megabyte, uh, six megabit down. Um, and then I'm going to show you over 3G. So, kind of changed it up, but there is no other videos out there like this that show you the different quality um, and you know loading times between these different connections so just bear with me it's going to be a little longer video than normal but uh it'll be all right this the quality of this picture is actually just under what the 4g lte provided it's not much of a difference it's a little more pixelated but um it looks like it's still trying to acquire um you know, a good picture. You know, once you, the longer you have it open, it's able to tell the network conditions and it'll be able to uh, provide you a better experience the longer you have it open. But I, it now does look like the quality is the same as um, LTE. So, do keep that in mind. And it looks like the channel changed, you know, same quickness. There wasn't much of a difference. Between changing the channel, which is nice. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. I'm going to try over 3G. I'm going to do a speed test for you guys um, to show you how quick 3G is in my area and to also show you um, mainly how the quality looks over 3G because 4G LTE, Verizon 4G LTE is not in all areas, so you do have to keep that in mind. Um, you know, most people are still going to be running 3G, so I'm going to be able to show you a quality test here in a second. Once it acquires a signal, it's just switching between 4G and 3G signal. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick speed test here, so bear with me. But again, I, I like doing these type of things because you do not see this, this thing on uh, videos like this on YouTube. People don't compare the quality tests and, you know, loading times. For the sling player. It's like it's pulling. That's about what I usually get average on 3G. About one and a half uh, megs down. I'm just kind of jumping all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and do it one more time just to show you. Actually, no, screw it. I'm going to. The video's long enough. I'm just going to go back here to sling player. But yeah, again, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of different application um, you know, tests and demos. So, for both the Sling Player Solo and the Pro HD, just showing you the quality differences between all the applications. I, I'm guessing this is going to be lower quality and, and longer load times, but surprisingly, that was pretty quick. It is a little more pixelated in my experience right now, but it looks like it's still acquiring a good signal, so... Um, yeah, actually, to be honest, this looks the same as the other two. So that is good. You guys, I guess you're just gonna take my word for it because um, it, it just the iPad. This is, and I even have the new iPad, so it's, it doesn't record the greatest off screens. So, and as you can tell, the loading times are quick still. So, again, I'm gonna go go through the buttons here one more time, give you guys a good look. I'm just switching the channels a lot because I'll get copyright infringement issues if I don't. So, anyways, this was Nick the Tech Guru again, reviewing the Sling Player mobile app for the Android. I am actually on a Motorola Bionic, and I tested it on LTE. I had about 20 megs down. I did it over Wi-Fi, which was six megs down. And did it over 3G, which is one to uh, 1 to 1.2 um, megabits down. So stay tuned for more Sling Player videos, and I am out.